Meanwhile, in a major milestone event, Chief of Naval Staff Admiral R. Hari Kumar flagged off the first indigenously manufactured Dishri 10 Starliner UAV for the Indian Navy. The sophisticated state-of-the-art unmanned aerial vehicle marks a significant step towards strategic autonomy and technological leadership in high-endurance combat-proven and indigenized advanced aerial systems. The flag of ceremony happened at Adani Aerospace Park in Hyderabad. Adani Defence and Aerospace is building capabilities to help build a secure nation by achieving self-reliance in defence and security and also take a global leadership position in the sector. India's first indigenously manufactured medium altitude long endurance unmanned aerial vehicle Drishti 10 manufactured for the Indian Navy by Adani Aerospace There were two types of operations here happening one is the anti-piracy operations so anti-piracy operations have now uh, largely we have only had two incidents the other one is of course the anti-piracy anti-drone operations the total numbers uh, if you look at in the last about 40 42 days about 35 attacks have happened the state of the art uav is being seen as a big step towards self-reliance in national security for an atmanirbhar bharat it's a very proud moment for us. Um, so right now what we're talking about is uh, two uh, drones uh, going to the Navy and two going to the Army. Um, there's a larger contract that we're also participating in um, that's not closed yet. That's for about 97 uh, of these drones uh, being supplied to the Navy. Very proud moment for us. It's a flagship, it's a watershed moment for India. It's a dream come true for our chairman, Mr. Gautam Adani, who always talks about the vision of how do we support and play a humble role in India growth story and supporting the Indian Armed Forces. Drishti 10 Starliner UAV is being sent from Hyderabad to Porbandar in Gujarat and will become operational in a couple of months. So the Drishti 10 Starliner UAV has been delivered within 10 months by the Adrani Enterprises to Indian Navy. What we expect is that within the next six months, three more such birds are going to be delivered and they're going to be monitoring the surveillance, reconnaissance over the Arabian Sea and the Indian Ocean region. In Hyderabad with camera person Nagraju, Uma Sudhir, NDTV.